lizard I found crawling around this morning or just now in mother's bedroom. You know, Julia had been playing with something or trying to get to something. I think this lizard, I was able to finally capture him. He's a big boy. Look at him. I'm about to put him outside. And uh, he's kind of, he's not as, he's he's got plenty of part pep, but not as much pep as as most lizards are. You know, most lizards are too fast. But he's big. And he's been, oh goodness, he went to the bathroom. He's scared. Poor baby. Then I got him, got him to get in this box. Now I'm going to take him out and everybody knows. Yes, you all know what I'm about to do. We have a lizard. Yeah, we have a lizard, don't we? Look at this living room. I've ripped out the carpet. I'm going to be moving. Yes, there's, there's doggies. Yeah. But gosh, look at him. This is the first time I've ever in all these years had a lizard in the house that I found. Well, you're about to be real happy, lizard, because you're going to be outside. Okay, now we're outside. Raphael's taking a nap. He won't notice. And we're going to release the lizard. And the outdoors. There he goes. Yeah, there he goes. Yes, aren't you happy? There he goes. Boy, he's moving fast. Oh, good. Good. He's way over there now. He's going to be just fine. Whenever you find any animals, don't hurt them or kill them. Rescue them and take them outside. No matter what it is. Well, cockroaches. I will make an exception for that. But you know what? I don't have cockroaches. And I think it's because I have all these insects and geckos. And of course, I'm sure that lizard did things too. <laughs> I have all kinds of scary slimes around that I had to protect my mother. They come in handy for me too.